versus non-union. Um, which one's better? You know, no, union is the best because blah, 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 blah. No, non-union is the best because blah, 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 blah. Um, guys, I really don't believe there's any difference. I don't think any one is better than the other. I honestly think that we're all brothers and we learn how to weld. That's excellent. You know, we need to know how to weld. That's The world needs more welders. And because it's lacking in that, wherever you find that you learn how to weld, wherever you're out in the world welding, that's awesome. You're out there, you're doing it. So um, I really am not a big, big fan of titles. I honestly actually hate them with a severe passion. Titles don't serve anything but just to divide us as a nation. I mean, literally, our whole nation is divided between Republic and Democrat. I don't really, I don't get it because a nation divided amongst itself is going to fail. Like, we have to be united together. And on a very micro, micro scale is union, non-union welders. What does it matter if you're union or non-union? That doesn't change that we're all red-blooded Americans or period we're just red-blooded humans we're all we're all people guys what does it matter if you're union or non-union are you welding that's great you're welding you're out there you're making the world a better place you're building you're fabricating you're repairing uh we're building the world guys so it's a it's a topic that gets kind of thrown around nobody's choice is better it shows that you're extremely insecure in yourself it shows you that you aren't really 100% proud of what you're doing. So instead of getting better and promoting welding and teaching others to become welders, you start folding in on yourself and you start pointing at all the bad in the world. Negativity is never going to fix anything, guys. It's never going to make the world a better place if you just want to sit here and spew a bunch of negative jargon and say that you're better than everyone else. So why don't we try actually promoting each other instead of giving the world something to actually look at like, oh, well, you know, I don't want to be a welder. Look at them. They're a bunch of bickering old ladies. Guys, are we better than that? I certainly would hope so. So it goes back to the whole main conversation for this little video here is, look, welders are welders. We're brothers. The only way we're going to make the world a better place, the only way we're going to promote welding, the only way we're going to get people that want to weld and get into this trade that we'll be able to pass you know skills onto get people with good attitudes about it the only way we're going to do that is we band together as brothers stop putting a title on yourself if you're union or non-union stop deciding if you're better or worse than anyone else and just focus on you and try promoting everyone around you whether they're worse than you or better than you start with positivity and i guarantee you positivity is going to win that's going to make the difference in the world that's going to show the world a better face to welding that's going to inspire people to want to be welders just as much as doctors. Look, we need doctors in the world, but we need welders too. I think it's a skill, it's a trade. But we have to be better than what used to be. What used to be is not getting us anywhere. If you haven't noticed, what used to be, bickering over union and non-union, who's better and who's worse, it's just drowned us all. Now we have a bunch of kids that are coming out of high school that want to be entrepreneurs. Or they want to go to college. Because that's the beautiful face that's been put in front of them through media. While we're all in the background and none of us will get out there and make a difference, no one will put our face out there and no one's, you know, they're, everyone's too scared to put their life on the line for it. They, they want to just sit back and complain how the world's a horrible place. If you're going to complain and you're not trying to make a difference, if you're not trying to teach someone, if you're complaining how people that were above you never treat, taught you anything, We'll stop complaining and just remember that. Be better than them. Be better than the negativity. Be better than the titles. Be better than the division. And be a brother. Be a brother to fellow, fellow welders, to fellow blue-collar workers. Just be a brother or a sister. I got to get better at that. I'm sorry for, for any of the female welders out there that are following me. I am sorry. I am getting better at it. It's just kind of a common thing I say. Anyways, back on the topic. Look, guys. We can make welding great again. Union, non-union is not the best. I want to hear your opinions about it, though. What is your honest opinion? Whether it's right or wrong, I really don't believe in right or wrong. Is it promoting welding or is it tearing us down? I want to hear it. What do you guys think? 
about coming up through the union or coming up non-union. I only know union, so I can only have a union perspective. I believe union is great because, one, I was 19 years old when I got in. I didn't know anything. I, did, I was green. I didn't know how to grind a beat. I didn't know how to do nothing. So, they taught me the skill. They, in five years' time, they gave me, I believe it was 1,800 hours of schooling, all of which I did not pay for. They provided me a job for five years. Five years of my apprenticeship, I banked over 12,000 hours in five years. So they provided me a job that I didn't have to look for. Then, on top of that, it created a scheduling or um, kind of a, a hierarchy for people to understand where you were. If you were a third-year apprentice, they knew, okay, you should know this, shouldn't know this. We're going to learn, teach you a little bit more. By fifth year, you should be just about ready to turn out. So they back off and give you more, um, more free reign, I should say. If you're a journeyman, you should know your skill. You should be skilled. No one should have to tell you how to do your job. And if you're a foreman and so on, I really like the chain of command. I think there's a very crucial reason why it's so important. Because everyone knows where they're at in the pecking order. And it, it's just a fine running machine. That's all inside of union. It's all built inside of the union. So that's why I'm such an advocate of union. Is because I really like the way it's laid out for an apprentice and a master. Or a journeyman. It, it's a really good laid out way to pass information from experienced hands to unexperienced hands. Until they become experienced. Um... And then, like I said, the schooling is free. So literally for five years, uh, by the time I was a second year, I was already into six figures by myself. I was making six figures a year um, at 20, 21 years old. That, that's pretty immaculate. And then from there on, it, it continued to just be about the same. I was making about six figures a year. So I don't know of any job out there or anywhere else that can give you free schooling. I never paid a dime in schooling, never paid a dime to learn how to weld. Uh, any of the welding school that I went through that the union provide for me is an 18-week accelerated welding program during my third year. Didn't pay a dime for that, and they taught me. And uh, all I had to pay for was union dues, which was, uh, it's like $27 a month. Like, I pay like $400 in union dues all year. And then I believe they take uh, a percentage out of your check. But you don't even notice it because, look, they took all that percentage, but look at everything they provided. Free schooling job placement. I had a job. I was never out of a job for longer than two weeks unless I wanted to be, but I pretty much was working solid for those five years. And then, uh, like I said, free schooling, job placement, great pay. Uh, I was making immaculate pay. Uh, never had to go to college. So I was 19 years old without a college degree, making six figures. And then when I turned out, now I have a brotherhood worldwide that, uh, I think is really cool because anywhere I travel inside, at least inside the United States, there's another union local and we're all brothers and they can put me into work immediately. So I'm networked nationwide and that's half the battle in my opinion is just being networked, knowing somebody they will get you where you need to go. So that's my opinion, my side on union. I want to hear your guys' opinion. I want to hear your guys' uh, thoughts on union versus non-union which is better, what your experience has been with it. Let me know in the comments. Share this around. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. If you're watching on Facebook, please go hit the like button. I'm really trying to build a great community of welders. We're going to make the world see that welding and welders is the best career that you could possibly go into, and welders are a lot better than the face that's been put on them right now. Sorry. <laughs>